Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. First off, before we start this review, huge thank you to everybody. We did hit 10,000 subscribers just a couple of days before I posted this video. That's a huge accomplishment for me. I'm honestly shocked that that many people care what I have to say and care what I have to say enough to actually subscribe to what I say. Um, but hey, super cool. I appreciate it. Um, now we're on to 100K, right? On to the next one. Um, so today, I got a cool 4K review to do. This is a follow-up to a 4K review video uh, from just a few days ago. As you know, I did Batman, the 1989. Um, I wouldn't say original. Adam West is the original, but, um, you know, kind of the first movie most people think of. And uh, I also did Batman Returns, the two Tim Burton Batman movies, basically with Michael Keaton. And now today, we're going to take a look at the two Joel Schumacher Batman movies, which are Batman Forever with Val Kilmer and Batman and Robin with George Clooney. Um, again, both of these are in the same uh, 4K set that uh, is coming out on June 4th. So we're gonna take a look at these. We'll talk about some picture quality. We'll talk about the audio. Uh, I'll go through, do a quick review of special features and packaging and overall, I'll just give you an insight into what I thought about each of these and kind of how they compared to the Tim Burton ones or in which ways they're different or um, how's the picture quality different. It's kind of an interesting, uh, the styles are very different, so it'll be interesting to see how that uh, quality transfers over. So uh, let's get started with the review. First up, I'll do Batman Forever. That comes first in the series. This is the movie that stars um, Tommy Lee Jones, and uh, Jim Carrey as well as Val Kilmer as Batman. It also has Chris O'Donnell, uh, who's Robin. He uh, came back for that role in Batman and Robin, even though Batman changed to George Clooney. So that's kind of interesting. He played Robin with two different Batman characters, or Batman actors. Um, but this movie's actually pretty good. Uh, Jim Carrey is pretty good. Tommy Lee Jones is pretty good. They're great villains. Um, I thought Val Kilmer's actually a, a half-decent Batman. Um, you know, he's not the best, but he's, you know, he, he does the job well enough. You know, he's Ben Affleck type, you know what I mean? If you, he, he does the job well enough. Um, he's no Christian Bale to me. Christian Bale is still Batman in my mind. Um, even Michael Keaton gets beat by Christian Bale. But Val Kilmer's pretty good. He's better than George Clooney. Not that that's saying much, but he is. And he's probably better than Ben Affleck, too. Um, so the visuals now are much more colorful than the Tim Burton movies. The Tim Burton movies have some good colorful moments, but overall they're kind of darker, grittier. It's a lot of blues, grays, blacks, dark stuff. Joel Schumacher's movies, now this is where he changes the whole color scheme. So the Riddler's got this super bright outfit. Jim Carrey's hair um, just pops off the screen. There's a lot more color going on. Um, Overall, there's just a lot more colorful elements, and so the HDR is key here. The 4K remastered resolution is also pretty good. Um, there is some grain, but it's overall a pretty smooth picture. Uh, I personally don't mind grain. I think it does give the film a, um, a more realistic feel, especially if it was shot on film and not digitally. You do want to see some grain that's true to the original picture quality that the director intended. And so this does a nice job carrying that over without being overbearing um, because the 4K resolution lets you really smooth that grain out so you get a nice, you know, I wouldn't say nice grainy background. The word grainy is always has a negative connotation, but it's a nice grain structure. Um, and again, the HDR is where this one really shines. Now, Batman and Robin, again, HDR is your big selling point here. This is actually, in my opinion, a more colorful movie um, than any of the other Batman uh, movies in this four movie set. You got Mr. Freeze, so you got a ton of like really bright blues, um, the ice, um, his guns, his equipment. You've got Poison Ivy, who's a very bright green, pinks, red hair. Um, and then you've also got Bane, who is a much more colorful Bane in this movie. He's got some cool like purple, pinkish um, stuff on his suit. And Poison Ivy's lab with all the colors is really cool. Um, even the Batman suit, sorry, not, not Batman, 
the Robin suit has um, color to it, which pops off the blacks. Um, the HDR gives you the deeper black. So anytime you get a black backdrop with something on top of it, think Robin suit, black with red on top. The red really pops. Um, overall, is the movie that great? No. Like, it's not the best Batman movie. It's pretty cheesy. But I honestly don't mind it. I don't mind either of these because they remind me of... Um, the comic books right it's a more comic cheesy feel whereas the Tim Burton ones and especially the Christopher Nolan ones are a little darker grittier um, even the newest DC uh, extended universe with Ben Affleck those movies are very dark and gritty and these ones are like really fun they have a really fun colorful comic book vibe the cheesy one-liners like that's all stuff you'd see in a comic book so it, it's not the best movie in the world, but it always kind of confused me how much hate it gets because the core of these guys and these characters is comic books. And these movies feel more like comic books to me than um, some of the other Batman movies, which are a little more like Detective Batman, um, Frank Miller type, you know, really dark Batman versus kind of, you know, the goofy um, characters and stuff you might get in some of the other comics. So it's just a different take on the character. But it's pretty cool. And again, the colors pop. And um, HDR is your real selling point. That 4K resolution gives you a noticeable uptick in quality over the Blu-ray. But I probably, I mean, I say this in so many reviews, but HDR is really the selling point of the 4K format. That extra data on the color schemes and the deeper blacks and all that. They make the picture quality so much better than a simple resolution upgrade can. Um, and so again, both great uses of HDR in each of these, uh, and they're really, really good 4K transfers. I actually thought that these were better transfers than the previous Batman movies. Just in terms of picture quality, I enjoyed these ones more. Um, now, audio, again, both of these are Dolby Atmos. Everything's Dolby Atmos remixed. Um, an interesting thing is it does default to Dolby Atmos. And so that's something Warner Brothers was doing where they were putting a Dolby Atmos track on, but it wasn't defaulting to that highest level. Um, it would default to a lower level 5.1 track. And if you didn't notice it, you may not even know that it wasn't playing Atmos when you pop it in. Uh, they've kind of fixed that. It defaults to Atmos on these. And they're really good uh, sound quality. Again, you get a lot of cheesy sound effects, uh, much more of a comic book feel. Um, I did think that Batman Forever had better audio than Batman and Robin, um, but it's still an overall really good experience. And if you have the Atmos capabilities, um, you're going to really love both of these releases as well as the previous two. Overall, it's a very good four movie set. Um, now in terms of packaging, again, you saw these in the other releases. You've got this kind of holographic neon colored slip cover with the green I'm assuming they went green here because of the Riddler. Um, and then on the inside, there's a little sheet there. Um, you've got two green discs. Again, I, my assumption would be it's it's based on some of the uh, colors of the characters in the movies. And so this one went with neon green. Meanwhile, this Batman and Robin went with sort of this kind of weird like reddish purple Almost looks like what's on uh, Robin's suit, that color. Uh, and then you just get the regular um, movie here. And then you've got your 4K and your Blu-ray disc with some new artwork, which is pretty cool. Um, special features on these are, um, again, you're not getting crazy extra special features. But there's a commentary on this one from Joel Schumacher. Um, there's the, uh, a couple behind the scenes, uh, additional scenes. There's a beyond Batman documentary gallery, as well as three music videos, some hero and villain profile galleries in the trailer. And then on Batman forever, you're getting a commentary by Joel Schumacher, more additional scenes, scenes that didn't make it into the uh, final cut. There's this series called shadows of the bat, the cinematic saga of the dark Knight. This has part five, this has part six. Um, more Beyond Batman documentary gallery. Seals Kiss from a Rose music video. I'm not sure if that song was done for this movie. 
Um, I'd have to look that up. I, I did not know that if that's the case, but it's got the music video on here. So maybe it was, um, and then more hero and villain profile galleries. So, you know, some cool music videos, some behind the scenes stuff, nothing crazy. Uh, really, if you're buying these, you're upgrading for the HDR and for the 4k resolution, but overall Warner brothers with this whole set with all four of these Batman movies, this is well worth your money. It's well worth an upgrade. If you can't get all four of these now, um, I would wait for a discount maybe in the fall. As I mentioned in the previous video, there is a box set coming out in September. Now, why they're waiting to do a box set, I'm not sure. You've already got all four movies. You could have just released a box set too. Um, but they're putting a box set of these four out in September, and then that should drop the prices of the individual releases I would think because the box set um, as a bundle price will probably be cheaper than buying these four individually at release day. And so if you say the bundle something like 60 bucks, um, I could see these dropping into the $15 range a piece so that at least spending the money on the individual releases kind of equals out to the box set, which will probably be 60 or 70. Um, I could also see these being a, a great Black Friday item. I think they're going to be really popular, and so it makes sense that you could see them on sale maybe for $10 on Black Friday. At that price point, it's a steal. I'd pick these up for $15. I'd pick these up for $22.99 on release day. Uh, no question. It's well worth it. If you're a Batman fan, even if you don't like the Schumacher ones or you don't like the Tim Burton ones, but you like the Schumacher ones better, you have your choices with the individual copies. You could just pick up the original 1989 Batman. That's a great uh, release. You could just grab one of these, grab all four, or you could wait for the box set. So tons of options, but um, it's good to know that all of these were remastered really well done good 4k transfers good use of hdr excellent dolby atmos audio it's really hard to go wrong um, with any of these releases and so i do i, I highly recommend them as an upgrade um, and if you don't already own the movies on blu-ray this is a great opportunity because the blu-rays are also remastered and so even if you don't have 4k capabilities the only way you're getting the remastered blu-ray is by buying these 4k packages um, and then you'll have the 4K disc for when you do upgrade. Um, you know, you could always sell the Blu-ray off or trade that in um, until you upgrade to 4K, you will have a remastered Blu-ray. So that's kind of nice. Um, definitely a, a noticeable uptick in quality over the previous Blu-rays as well. So that's the review. That's Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, the couple Joel Schumacher movies. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it gives you some insight into... Uh, what's going on with these two but like I said the whole set of four is highly recommended in my book I think it's a great release one of the um, one of the best 4k releases uh, as a group that I've seen when you compare it to things like the Transformers movies that came out uh, Mission Impossible movies uh, even the Dark Knight trilogy with Christopher Nolan it's nice to see these big sets of catalog titles come out on 4k and uh, these are among the best that I've seen so far, especially for older catalog titles. So props to Warner Brothers. Um, now, if you liked this video, we hit 10,000 subscribers, right? But we're not done. I have goals to get to 50,000. I have goals to get to 100,000. Now we hit 10,000 a month before I wanted to. We smashed my goal. But I wanna get to say 50,000, I don't know, maybe this time next year, and get to 100,000 a year later. So, I still need the support, I still need you to subscribe to the channel, like these videos, leave me a comment, you know, anything you can do to promote the channel and promote what I'm doing, I appreciate. Um, also remember to follow me on Instagram, links are down in the description. There are also links down there you can donate to my channel, whether it's $1, $2, 50 cents, uh, $50, whatever you wanna give to the channel. Um, it's sort of a, an easy way to just say, Thank you. If you want to, I uh, have that PayPal link down there. And then there's also a bunch of Amazon links. If you do buy product through any of those links, I get a little kickback on it. So if you're going to buy something anyway, like these home theater seats or Blu-ray shelving or um, a projector or a projector screen or a subwoofer or any of that stuff, you know, check my Amazon links. If you buy it through there, I get a few bucks back, help support the channel, help support what I'm doing. So I appreciate that as well. 
Um, my next video will be a um, Q&A, which is something a lot of people asked me to do when I got to 10K. And so right now on Instagram, I am sourcing questions. If you have questions for me and you aren't following on Instagram or don't have an Instagram account, feel free to leave them here in the YouTube comments and I will try to respond to as many as I can in my next video, which will be a sort of channel update, 10K subscribers, uh, Q&A, uh, and also have a pretty cool giveaway. So uh, stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Keep collecting those movies. Keep reaching out. Keep saying hello. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, and until then, have a good one.